for us, there's a few training objectives. The first one really is to demonstrate the agility of the Agile Task Force, being able to project overseas at pace. The second bit is really how we integrate with a foreign nation and being part of their battle group. Often in the British Army, we train with foreigners as part of our battle group, but very rarely do we get to uh, integrate into one of theirs and understand the intricacies that that has in it. The objective of Vigilant Fox is to work with the Finns. So this is their readiness validation exercise. And by having us working alongside them, not only are they able to learn from us, but we're learning from them and how they work. Exercise Vigilant Fox this year include the uh, company from Two Rifles, uh, but also the Americans, uh, and then there's three readiness companies from across the, uh, the uh, Finnish Defence Force, uh, as well as air defence, uh, artillery uh, and signals um, to go along with the exercise as well. Yeah, I'm glad that there's been different guys working with us. I think it helps a lot, our, our squad and our home platoon, that we get to work with you guys. I think it has added like such an impact so that we learn uh, different like operating ways and that also helps us uh, learn our way in a sense. Since we get to like uh, teach it to other guys, we also learn our ways much better. And there has been many things that have uh, changed my point of view on uh, how to operate and uh, how, how to lead. So the, this is woodland warfare around here. It's very difficult, difficult terrain. They've got, it's difficult to see and especially the communication. So as a platoon commander, the command and control is really difficult. The Finns specialize in this kind of area. So that's another thing that we've been working with them is seeing how effective they are in the woodland environment. And that's because that's something that they train and they obviously understand that that is a lot of, a lot of their ground is woodland. So they specialize in that. So that's been quite good to prepare us for this. But yeah, the trees are, they provide a lot of challenge. They do provide cover, but but again, it's the communication and the uh, control that is actually probably the biggest challenge, I'd say. The facilities in Finland have been brilliant. Uh, you know, having come from Northern Ireland, where we're hugely lucky to have uh, 
uh, pretty much unlimited access to two training areas. Uh, but having previously served around Salisbury Plain uh, and you know having to book ranges at sort of six months notice uh, and then deploy on Opca Brit where unfortunately again it's getting very congested the ability to come out here and access training estate uh, you know without any sort of uh, hindrance has been brilliant.